Hi, my name is Jules. I am the guy behind the VR Tracker, which is an open source position tracking system for virtual reality. Today I'm going to explain you how to make the calibration sequence. Uh, this is a necessary step to get to tracking to have the 3D position. As you can see behind me, there are two cameras that are already installed and working. Uh, they are already connected to the gateway. And I'll show you uh, so how to calibrate. Uh, the calibration is important because then the camera, uh, each camera will know its position and orientation in your world space, so in real space. So this is very important so you can have uh, then the 3D position computed. Uh, what we do basically is that for each camera, uh, we will give, um, we will use the tag and we will, we will give it a 3D position. So for example, if I put the tag here, uh, both camera will record a 2D position because they are camera, they only have X and Y. Okay, so I, I tell to the camera that, okay, the 2D position you received is for an object that is at uh, 3D position X, Y, Z uh, of, uh, for example, I can say this is 0, 0, 0 if I want it to be the origin of my uh, world coordinates or if I want it to be my height, it would be 0, 0, uh, 174 because I am 174 centimeters height. Uh, so basically what we're gonna use uh, is this. So we're gonna have to uh, set some markers, uh, just um, measure uh, exactly where the, where the tag is uh, in, the, in our world and then send this information to the camera, uh, to the gateway, sorry, uh, when uh, the camera records the 2D position. Uh, usually I use a tripod, but right now it is used by the camera, uh, so I have, uh, so the, the tag can be at a certain height, because I don't do it on the floor. Uh, usually the camera are not uh, positioned to look at the floor anyway. Okay, you might be wondering uh, how the 3D position is, is sent to the gateway. Uh, this is simply a web socket that is set up especially for calibration. So you can either use uh, your PC, a smartphone, uh, whatever you can use to type in some, uh, to, to create a web socket actually, uh, and to send the information to the, to the gateway. Um, it is, uh, that part is pretty easy. Um, another thing you want to know is that uh, if you take um, a lot of points, you would have very precise tracking. If you take only four points, you will have a, a pretty bad tracking. So the more points you get, the better is the tracking. Uh, you don't want to take less than four points per camera because otherwise uh, the algorithm will not work. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can start uh, measuring the 3D position of the tag and uh, start uh, recording the 2D position on each camera to then uh, set up the calibration. Uh, the calibration is only to do once. Uh, if you move the camera, you will have to do it all over again. So try not to touch the cameras too much. The calibration um, will be recorded in the gateway. So you can unplug it and replug it. The calibration will still be there. Um, that's pretty much it. Yep. Uh, we can start. Uh, we can start calibrating right now, and uh, then we'll see the 3D position. Okay, so now we can start uh, calibrating. Uh, the tripod is right there. Uh, uh, I can measure its height. So it is about uh, 135 centimeters. So this is going to be the Z axis. And uh, what I've done basically is that I've put some uh, duct tape uh, on the floor. Uh, this is because I do the calibration pretty often when I'm developing and there is a uh, one meter per two meter square so we're gonna take a uh, six position and uh, it's gonna be enough just to show you the calibration I will also show uh, how to connect to uh, to the gateway uh, to start the calibration using uh, this is a chrome extension that is called a simple web socket and here is how it works. Um, here is the, um, the IP of the gateway uh, because the, the PC has to be on the same network as the gateway uh, and the gateway is connected to the router or you have to be connected to the gateway directly in your Wi-Fi. Uh, 8001 is the port of the WebSocket server so it always has, has to be 8, uh, 8001. 
So you can open uh, the um, open the WebSocket server, and then the first thing we want to send is a user and with a specific ID. Okay, uh, this is just to to tell him. Oh no, sorry, this is not user that we want to send, but calibration. User is for um, it's for when we have finished. Okay, so we send calibration. And uh, it will like create a, a calibration sequence, and we want to enter the calibration. Okay, so now when we add a new point, we will type a calib um, with two dots, and then the x, y, and finally the z. Okay, so we measured that z was 135 centimeters. And we will start with the first point, the zero, 0, the origin, uh, which I will choose that will be uh, right here. So this will be the origin. So I just need to take the tag, which is right there. I turn it on here. I see that both camera, I can see it because the red light is on the camera. Now I can go back to the web socket uh, and I can send send. I Okay, so the first point is, uh, is saved. I'm going to do this for the five other points. So the second one is going to be uh, here I am at uh, 0, 0, uh, 135 because of the tripod. And now I'm going to be at uh, 1 meter, so 100, 0, one, uh, no, 100, 0, 100, sorry, I'm getting lost. This is the this is the y, this is the x, and this is the z. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, zero on x, one hundred on y, and one hundred and thirty-five on on z. So once again, I record the tag. I see that both camera can see it. That's okay. I just change the value to zero one hundred. I can send it. I do this again. This is for. 0, 200, 